contest are Mr. Stu Robinson and Mr. Don Anguin. at the line there by Harrington, forcing that offside. And 30 seconds in, we're gonna get our first stoppage of play. The faceoff's gonna be outside the Harwood zone. MBU wins that face off all the way back down. Stefanik will gather inside her own zone. Gets the puck up, it's on Schreindorfer's stick. In the middle. Nice move, shot, save, nice save by Hunter as she's tested early. MBU inside the offensive zone, chipped in by LaPan. Looking for Schreindorfer out front, had her momentarily, not able to connect. Out comes Wilksman. Buck taken there by Araldi. She'll chip that one in down deep and go to the bench for a change. 13.54 left, first period. Buck stated out by Harrington. She's got Thompson coming across the zone. Good defense in the neutral zone there by Araldi. Thompson has it on her stick. She gets it over to Boyden. Boyden chips that one up into neutral ice and is taken by Thompson. Thompson takes a shot. Good save by LeClaire. Rebound. Cadenash had a good opportunity, but it just went by her stick. Thompson gathers down deep. Pressured there by Stefanik. Pass out front. Gathered by Harrington. Here comes MBU. Long lead pass, misses everybody and goes all the way down for an icing. Cutting across the center of the ice, that was Gagne. She would have been in all alone. And so far, MBU playing a very good, fast-paced game. Yeah, and uh, just as we said at the top of the telecast, Morgan, winning the neutral zone is the, gonna be the most important key here for MBU, uh, limiting the op offensive opportunities that can generate from the neutral zone that Harwood's gonna have. Left. Breaking out of their own zone, here comes Stefanik. Stefanik with a head full of steam. She gains the red line, gains the blue line. Looks to take a shot, good save there by Hunter. Rebound, and it's taken there by McClellan. She'll get it up, front, up top to the point. Nobody's there. Buck taken away by Harwood. McClellan, over the blue line, trying to make a move around one, takes a shot, that one tipped down. And Hunter there, equal to the task. Here's Bigelow. LePan keeps that one in. McClellan has it on her stick. Has Schreindorfer out in front. McClellan, nice move, takes a shot. Good block there by Harrington. MBU starting the cycle. Schreindorfer's down there, battling with Harrington. McClellan out front to Schreindorfer. Good save by Hunter, and she'll hold on to that one. MBU working very well in the offensive zone so far. Absolutely, MVU's doing a great job of generating scoring chances, uh, but something we're gonna be saying probably all day today, Hunter with the save. Hunter with the save. Uh, 
Hunter comes into today, uh, one of the top save leaders in the state of Vermont. She's going to be a tough uh, person to beat. She had 40, what did she have, 43 saves last game? That's correct, 43 saves last game. Puck bounces off into the corner, taken here by Gagne. Gagne, looking out in front, good shot! Right out in front, another save! Eraldi had it on her stick. It's taken there by Adele. Adele on the side of the net. Good pinch down deep by Stefanik, but it's taken away by Thompson. Thompson will gain the blue line. Good defense at the blue line by MVU. Skating back up. Here comes Stefanik. She's got one in the middle. Had Adele cutting towards the front. Just not able to hold on to the pass. Adele throws that one to the front. Hunter will stick that one to the side. Puck taken by Boyden. She'll chip it up. Looking for Katanash. In across, here comes McClellan. Good move there. Good defense on the backside by Harrington as McClellan was cut into the front of the net. Adele has it on her stick. Throws it rink wide. Nobody there. Schreindorfer. Battling in hard. Makes a move. Good pass, but even better defense by Harrington in front of the net, not, a, not allowing Adele to get her stick on the puck. Here comes Thompson. Skating out of her own zone. Good defense at the line. MVU looking to set something up. Good shot there. More of a pass. Looking for Schreindorfer on the opposite side. And Hunter will get a stoppage of play with 10.59 left first period. It's something that's really impressing me early on here, Morgan, is the way MVU is locking the puck in the offensive zone. They're doing a great job of not allowing these breakouts uh, by Hardwood. Uh, look for them to continue that play. They're playing defense in the offensive zone, which is something that I think they have been working on uh, more and more every practice. And you know what? It's paying off at this point. MVU maintaining pressure. LePan throws that one towards the front of the net. Schreindorfer was on the back side. She'll gather inside the offensive zone, backhanded in. Harrington chips that one up and out. But MBU playing good defense at the line. LePan kept that one in. LePan has it on her stick. Looking back towards the point, nobody's there. And chasing after that one is gonna be Rainville. 10-20 left first period, Rainville behind her own net. Looking to skate the buck up. Rainville takes a shot there, and we're gonna get a delayed penalty as Harwood is going to go to the box for two minutes. That's a body check. So MBU is gonna go on the power play here with 10.08 left in the first period. And this is going to be uh, a, a crucial two minutes here for MBU. They've been really good with a five on five play. They're generating opportunities. Now let's see if they can capitalize on this power play. So Katanash going to the box, two minutes for body checking. MBU looking to start the power play. McClellan has it on her stick, takes a shot, good save by Hunter, and she'll hold on to that one. No rebound as Schreindorfer was right on the goals, right on the right on the doorstep, and she could have put that one in, but Hunter holds on to the puck. We'll go figure, Hunter makes a save. <laughs> puck at the point. Kanye gets it over. Nice tip out in front by Raleigh. Panic left that one go from the point. McClellan has it on her stick. Chipped down towards the net. Hunter's gonna cover up, so we're gonna get a face off to the right of Hunter with 9.46 left first period. And I kind of want to go back, Morgan, to the top of the telecast. We had mentioned that MVU uh, weren't able to muster many shots on goal last game. Already, you can see they're not looking for the perfect shot every time. They're just looking to generate shots on goal. McClellan takes a backhanded shot. That one, good save by Hunter. Right off the draw, McClellan, knowing exactly where she was, and throws it on net. Thompson, skating all the way down inside MVU territory, pressured on the outside by Stefanik. Thompson trying to do it all by herself. And now Schreindorfer will chip that one up. 9.24 left in first period. Thompson, back inside her own zone, she'll whip that one down. Buck taken there by Stefanik. Stefanik making a move around one. Harassed at the line, not able to get into the zone. Good defense there by Harwood, as Wilcox had it on her stick. Harrington looking to clear the zone, and she does. Gathered inside her own zone, this is McClellan. D to D pass, 8.51 left first period. That puck's gonna go all the way down. Icing waved off. Good clearing 
effort by Wheeler. That one's gonna go all the way down. I think we got an inadvertent whistle here. Um, it shouldn't have been icing because uh, there's still 30 seconds left on the power play. So the faceoff should go back down into MBU territory or at center ice. Let me get the call here in just a second. So the faceoff's gonna go to neutral ice as we had an inadvertent whistle for icing. Um, like I said, 30 seconds still left on this power play. MBU wins the draw once again. Cutting in across the line was McClellan. McClellan circling around. Takes a backhanded shot, that one just went wide. McClellan gathers her own rebound. Has one out front shot, good save by Hunter again. Schreindorfer was right there. A beautiful pass by McClellan gets to Schreindorfer. And Hunter putting that stick on the ice, not allowing that goal. Yep, Hunter, uh, again, another tremendous save, but you can, you really have to be impressed with the way MBU is attacking the net right now, uh, really generating some uh, tremendous scoring chances. They have, this is something that is, uh, we have not seen from them yet this far. Gagne takes another shot, good save by Hunter, equal to that one. So they are just pelting and pelting and pelting, and I'm sorry, that shot came off the stick of Stefanik. And uh, she's holding the blue line very well up there on this power play. MBU as a team is doing such a good job of locking in the puck in the offensive zone and limiting the chances that Harwood has to break out. Let's see if Harwood can break out of their own zone here. Thompson had it momentarily tripped up. No call. Here comes McClellan. Nice move there. Plays onside. Shot. Good shot! McClellan at the blue line made a move around one. And puts that one top shelf. Hunter's done a very good job so far, but that was an even better shot by uh, by McClellan. Oh, absolutely, going up top shelf on Hunter. Uh, you see most of the most of the chances that MBU has put on net have been right around the pad area. That one just over the left shoulder, Hunter, absolutely tremendous shot. Snuck her way around the defense, just a, a tremendous move. Himself. Well, if it's not working on the bottom, you might as well go to the top. Well, let's see how Harwood can uh, rebound from this one, but MBU still mounting the pressure. It goes back to your key to the game, Nate. They have to, we're gonna see how Harwood responds here. They can't hold their heads, they gotta come back strong. And MBU just gotta keep that pressure up. Buck down deep, gathered in by Harrington. She'll throw it all the way down, and it's taken on the stick of Rainville. Rainville inside her own zone, 721 left, first period. MBU leading one to nothing. Fanick has it on her stick. Pressured by Wilkins. Hammond throws that one down. She'll go to the bench for a change. 7.07 left in the first period. Stefana can't get that one off of her stick. Thompson threw that one down deep. Puck now taken by Wilcox. But it's gathered by Thompson in the neutral zone. Harrington throws that one up, looking for Catanash, not able to hit her. He's gonna go all the way down for an icing, so the faceoff's gonna come back down to the left of Hunter. And uh, MBU's been doing a great job too on these offensive zone faceoffs. They've been winning these draws, which are creating these opportunities. Well, you can't score without the puck, Morgan, and it begins with the faceoff. Uh, teams often that win the faceoff tally uh, ultimately generate the most opportunities to win the game. So we'll oh, see, see if they can continue to do that. Pops is skating out of her own zone. She is going straight to the net. Nice move, toe drag, shot. She scores. LeClaire, we didn't see the puck go back in the, in the back of the neck, but Thompson, an individual effort, just as McClellan did, skating it all the way in, toe drag, and a good goal. She's beating LeClaire on the, on the glove side. Yeah, and that's, that's where Thompson really shines. With the puck on her stick, she's a tremendous goal scorer, tremendous hockey player. Put her team on her back right there. So, listen, Gals, I'm gonna take you here. Let's get, let's even the score up a little bit. Schreinorfer coming right back, looking out in front. What's the point? Thrown back down deep. Schreinorfer's there. It's on the stick of LePan. LePan battling down deep in there with Wheeler. Schreinorfer has it on her stick. Gets to McClellan. McClellan has one out in front. Pressured by Thompson. 
thrown to the front of the net. Hunter will save that one, cover it up for a stoppage play. 6.04 left. We have a tie tie game, or a 1 1 game here in the first period. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I'm impressed with the play with McClellan. She's doing a really good job of keeping the puck on her stick uh, and looking uh, to set up her teammates, not just looking to take the shot, uh, but controlling the puck, controlling the pace, uh, and finding opportunities for her and her teammates. It's really been that team effort all the way through uh, for MVP so far, and uh, they just keep mounting that pressure. Uh, and they're, gonna, they're going to keep winning those future zone uh, draws. Puck taken here by Gagne. Gagne, rink wide pass to Adele. Had it on her stick momentarily, but it's taken away and thrown all the way down by Boyden. Harrington breaking up that pass. Backhanded flip in by Rainville. Hunter Rose pushed that one to the side. Harrington can start the attack for Harwood. Thompson. Hope check gets the puck inside MVP territory. It's in her skates. Boyden has it in neutral ice. Harrington passes over. Harwood entering the zone with Thompson. Thompson cutting towards the center. Good defense on the backside by Stefanik. Harrington, a wide pass from Boyden, not able to get it there, and it's gathered in by Thompson deep. 4.46 left first period. Thompson skating out of her own zone. Pressure there by Schreindorfer. Turn over there. Puck taken by McClellan. McClellan pass out in front. Good defense on the backside by Wheeler. Not allowing the pass to go through. Puck held in by MBU momentarily. Thompson throws that one up and out. Thompson slash coming out of the defensive zone, but McClellan comes right back inside the zone. Takes a shot. Easy save there for Hunter. She'll hold on to that one. We'll get a stoppage of play. 4-19 left, first period, 1-1. Yeah, I know she already has a goal, Thompson here, but you can definitely tell the MBU part of their game plan is to not let Thompson beat them. Um, coming out of that defensive zone, she turned the puck over, and there were three or four white shirts around her. And she's, uh, and that's exactly what MBU's gonna try to do is to shut her down um, because you can already tell that she, is, she isn't afraid to go end to end. McClellan taking an opportunity. That puck went high and wide, gathered by LePan. LePan backhanded into Schreindorfer. Schreindorfer throwing it toward the front. Good angle caught off there by Hunter. She'll hold on to that one. 3.51 left first period, face off to the right of Hunter. Yeah, Morgan, back to your point. You can tell that this offense for Harwood definitely runs through Thompson. Uh, so limiting her chances, limiting her touches, and getting somebody to occupy that space defensively so she has very little room to move is going to be a key. MVU is going to go back on the power play here. Um, Harrington is going to go to the box. We'll get the call on that in just a moment. But MVU, with 3.51 left first period, going to get another crack at the power play. Right out in front, good save by Hunter on the back side. Going up and out, but it's kept in by Stefanik. Stefanik blocking that one in. Stefanik has it on her stick, cutting towards the center of the ice. Looking to throw it to the front of the net. She had Schreindorfer. Thompson takes that one away, throws it all the way down. We get a clearing attempt by Harwood. So Harrington went to the box for a cross check. So MBU is on the power play. Puck thrown rink wide. It's gathered there by Schreindorfer. Up top, she's got McClellan. McClellan dancing around at the top. Good save there by Hunter. She didn't see that one released, but was able to get the paddle down in time to throw that one to the side. Boyden reverses ice. And it's gathered by Stefanik. Stefanik looking for Schreindorfer, but Thompson throws that one. Now we're going to get a foot race. Taken by McClellan. Down her own net. 2.40 left in the first period. 45 seconds left on the Delayed offside, but it's cleared out of the zone and tonight neutral ice. LePan has it on her stick. Good shot from the point. It was taken there by Boyd, and she'll chip it up and all the way down. 
Harwood doing a better job on this uh, penalty kill, clearing the zone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, doing a really good job here of limiting the chances that have used. Puck taken down deep here. It's on the stick of Stefanik. She takes a backhanded shot. And Wheeler will throw that one all the way down the ice. And that's going to do it for the power play. A good job by Harwood killing off that one as we are under two minutes left in the first period. McClellan has it on her stick, skating out of her own zone. Makes a nice move around one. McClellan still with it. Taken away by Hammond. Here's Harrington. Dangerous turnover out in front. A good shot by LaPan. Even better defense by Harwood, not allowing that shot to get to Hunter. Boyden throws it up, not out of the zone. And finally, Harwood able to clear it. Well and tripped up coming into the zone, no call. It's taken here and neutralized by Stefanik. Stefanik chips it in, and it's gathered by Boyden. One minute left, first period. Well now, got it on her stick. Stefanik chases after it. LeClaire paddles that one aside. Thompson pressuring. Stefanik takes that one away. Catanash had a whack at it. And now it's out of neutralized with Wheeler. Over to Thompson. Thompson makes a move. Gains the blue line. Toe drag. Shot. Good save by LeClaire. Rebound out in front. Catanash had another whack at it in the slot. And LeClaire with two big saves right there. Claire doing a really good job. You know that when Thompson has the puck on her stick, she's going to look to create an opportunity for herself. Good job by LeClaire there to stop the place. Trindorfer takes that one away. Right out in front. Gagne takes a backhanded shot. That one just went a little bit wide. Five seconds left, first period. Held in momentarily by Rainville. And there's the buzzer for the end of the first period. A very good period for both teams. And uh, at the end of one, it's a 1-1 one -one tie. Hunter coming up big for Harwood so far. Well, just as she's done all season, Morgan, she's a tremendous goalkeeper. She is going to be a work ball in front of that net as much as she can. Uh, like you said, she had 43 saves last game. She's had multiple 50 save games this season. They lean on her a lot. Um, and right now, Harwood is going to create more opportunities. But MBU is doing a tremendous, tremendous job of not allowing Harwood to break out and skate and get down ice and generate scoring opportunities. Well, so far they're checking that box uh, for your key to the game, winning the neutral zone. Uh, every battle in the neutral zone has been won by MVU, and that allows the offense to cut in through the blue line, and they're getting those open opportunities on Hunter. And I'm impressed by this MVU team so far. Yeah, I think you can count both the keys to the game as success. Uh, for MVU. You're obviously winning uh, the puck in the neutral zone. You're, you're winning those battles, but you're also generating scoring opportunities by putting the puck on net. And not only just putting the puck on net, but putting bodies in front of the net, limiting Hunter's eyesight. She's not seeing that puck as well as she usually does to create those saves. I mean, granted, she's still doing a, a great job back there. She's going to get her save numbers, but MVU is doing a great job right now of uh, uh, generating scoring chances and they obviously capitalized on one of them. So at the end of one, it is a 1-1 one -one game here. And uh, we'll see if MVU can keep up this speed and, uh, and, the, and the passing that they've been able to, uh, to amount so far. We'll see if they can keep that up here moving forward. So at the end of one period of play, MVU and Harwood nodded at one. We'll be back. Welcome back as we get ready for the second period of play. One to one, MVU and Harwood. Nate, why don't you take us back through that first period? Well, first we're gonna wanna touch on the keys to the game. Uh, MVU, again, doing a great job of uh, controlling the neutral zone. Uh, they're also doing a great job of putting shots on net. Uh, 14 to five in favor of MVU for the shot total that, that Which is something period. that we haven't seen MVU do to this point in the season. They're not usually leading in shots on goal. No, but they're doing a great job right now, and it, honestly, it started with McClellan. 
McClellan has been fantastic with the puck on her stick. She has been patient. She's been methodical. She has, she has looked for her teammates uh, in crashing in front of the net. She's also looked to create scoring, scoring chances for herself. We saw it with the solo effort, uh, putting her team up 1-0 uh, in about the midway part of that first period. Uh, obviously, we know that Harwood, offensively speaking, they're going to get theirs. Uh, and it starts with Thompson. Thompson put the team on her back uh, and generated that opportunity. Again, solo effort for Harwood as Thompson leveled the score 1-1. So really, the story of that first period, Thompson versus McClellan in a heavyweight bout in that first period. Well, and I, I, I think MVU... Uh, against Hunter. <laughs> you know, Hunter uh, has been tremendous all season. She's been tremendous in this game so thus far. Uh, she's going to be a, a tough nut to crack back there. Uh, she, she is uh, tough to score on by any team. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, so it's been MVU versus Hunter as well, and so far Hunter has, has stood tall pretty well. And, and one of the keys, uh, I think, to Hunter's success is she cuts off those angles so well. She doesn't leave herself uh, much, or she doesn't leave the shooter much room on either side, and she seems to be seeing the puck very well as it comes off the stick. And seeing the puck well with the fact that MVU is also doing a really good job of putting players and putting bodies in front of the net to cut off her line of sight. I mean, Hunter's reaction time is fantastic. She does a great job of moving across the crease. You're, again, to your point, cutting off those angles. She's super quick, super agile back there, uh, and so far she stood tall. That line of McClellan, Schreindorfer, and LePan are doing exactly what you said, getting in front of the net. McClellan, that patience is allowing Schreindorfer and LePan to get in front of, uh, park themselves in front of Hunter, and that was exactly uh, what we saw with Schreindorfer. She had an opportunity early in the first period, and Hunter was just able to to make the save, but Schreindorfer and McClellan working very well together. And we're gonna see if that combination will keep going as McClellan wins the draw here to start the second period. She takes a shot immediately on Hunter. A follow-up rebound shot by Schreindorfer, and Hunter was able to make that save as well. So two quick shots for MVU as we start this second period. Here comes Thompson out of her own zone. Skating up by, she's got Katanash, elects to bring it in herself, takes a shot, that one went off the stick and leg of Stefanik. Puck taken out by LePan, she'll backhand that one up to McClellan. Across the blue line is McClellan, makes a move around two, backhanded opportunity, and no rebound let up by Hunter. And MVU has not let up the pressure at all through that break. No, much of the same here in the first 40 seconds as we saw all first period for MVU. They're, they're getting down ice. It is starting, starting with McClellan. McClellan's making great moves, great decisions as well. Uh, it's been starting with McClellan, and MVU is doing a great job right now offensively. MVU wins the offensive draw once again as Rainville throws that one up. Not able to connect with Araldi. Puck taken around by Rainville. She'll throw it up and out over to Wilcox. It's on the stick of Araldi. She chips that one in, but it's taken away by Boyden. Boyden trips up Araldi there, no call. And play will continue. Puck kept in nicely there by Rainville. She kind of made her best goalie impression at the blue line to keep that one inside the zone for MVU. Stefanik gathers behind her own net and makes a move around one. Pressured there by Wilkinson and she'll beat her. Gains the blue line. Got Gagne in the center. Stefanik working hard down low. Gets it out in front. Gagne was right on the doorstep, and that one just went underneath her stick. A good stick lift on the backside by Harrington. Delayed offside here for Harwood as they were trying to make a change. So MBU will skate off ice. Moraldi, turnover there, Thompson makes a move, tripped up, no call once again. And that one, that one was a little iffy coming across the center of the ice. Yeah, I thought we were gonna see a call there, but uh, unfortunately wet in the favor. McClellan making a move, takes a shot, SCORE! McClellan with a toe drag to start it, puts the puck on her backhand, goes back forehand and beats Hunter on the stick side, MVU, two to one. 
McClellan, again, doing a great job uh, of knifing through the defense. First goal went above the left shoulder of Hunter. This time went to the right side, uh, to the pad side of Hunter. Beats her again. MVU taking a two to one lead here. 12.48 left second period and they win the draw. Puck thrown up and out. All the way down. Battle in down deep. McClellan has it on her stick. Looking out in front, she's got LaPan. McClellan making a move. Schreindorfer out front, backhanded shot. That one was blocked down in front by Wheeler. Harwood on their toes, or on their heels just a little bit. Rainville skating inside her own zone, looking for Schreindorfer. Puck taken in and flipped in by Harwood, but immediately turned back around by the Thunderbirds. McClellan has it in her feet, throws it up. Boyden will collect down deep for Harwood. Puck trapped in and kept in by Rainville. Thompson behind her own net. Has it stolen away from her, chipped up to Belknap. Belknap not able to hold the pass, and MBU collects inside their own zone with 11.40 left in the second period. Puck chipped in by Rainville, chased in by Gagne. Veraldi throws that one towards the front of the net. Blocked in by Harwood. Harwood doing a good job on the defense. Not allowing MBU to get that pass to the front of the net. Thompson skates out. She gains red line, she gains blue line. Skating, pass out in front. Good defense by Rainville as she kicked that one to the side. Not allowing Thompson to get the pass out front. She had two Harwood skaters going towards the front of the net. Stefanik starting the offense. Takes a shot, good save by Hunter. Not able to gather the rebound. Still on Stefanik stick, pass out in front. LaPan had a whack at it, and she wasn't able to put that one in. Greenville collects at neutral ice. Buck taken by McClellan. McClellan has that one poke checked away. Kept in by Stefanik. She'll throw that one on Nat Hunter. Elects to cover that one up with 10.33 left, second period. Another impressive note that I'm seeing from MVU is when uh, you know, Thompson gets her opportunity. She gets on, on the outer edge and she looks to create chances even for her for her teammates or herself. MVU's doing a great job of cutting out those passing lanes and, and occupying the space between her and the goal. I think that's a very good observation because that's the whole game plan for MVU. Shut down Thompson. Yeah, don't let Thompson beat you. That's 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 point number one. Schreindorf for making a move there. Thompson throws that one up. MBU equal to that task. Thompson has it at neutral ice. Looking for some help, elects to take it away herself. Makes a move around one, makes a move around two. LeClaire pushes that one in. Shot another save by LeClaire. As Cadenash had a whack at it right from the slot. And LeClaire putting that trapper up there, knocks that one down. And MBU skates away. Here comes Schreindorfer. Schreindorfer makes a move. She'll take a shot. Good save by Hunter. No rebound opportunity on that one as she trapped it between the glove and the pad. 9.46 left second period. Good job by LeClaire down here on the defensive end. Yeah, and really the, the best opportunity Harwood has had thus far in the period to create a scoring chance. Uh, you know, LeClaire kind of misdirected that and put it right in front of her own net again. Uh, but she was equal to the task on the second shot. And she kind of poke checked it away from Thompson out in front, which was big, uh, not allowing Thompson to get the shot away. Um, but then, as you said, it inadvertently put it right on Cadenash's stick. But she's uh, standing strong down there. Uh, so far, seven saves in this one, and uh, no signs of letting up. No, LeClaire's doing a great job, and MBU as a whole, as a unit, is doing a great job defensively, as well as win winning the battle again in the neutral zone, going back to the keys to our game. Uh, and then when McClellan has had the opportunity to bury a shot, she, she's taking advantage. So another offensive draw here for MVU. Faceoff's gonna be to the right of Hunter. Uh, 
I take that back. We do have a penalty against MVU, so Harwood's going to go on the power play, and this is the time for Thompson to shine right here. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for Harwood to level the score again. Thompson needs to take control of this puck. Uh, she does just that. Good save there by LeClaire. Puck taken by Boyden. She throws it out in front. Cadenash has it on her stick. Cadenash looking to get it back up to the point, but it's taken away there by Gagne. Shot let go from Harrington. Cadenash throws that one to the front. Good save there by LeClaire where it can be skated up by Eraldi and thrown all the way down. 8.53 left, second period. 1.27 left on the power play. Skated out by Thompson. She's got the blue line. Puck taken out in front by Belknap. Thompson takes a shot, that one whistles just wide and is kept in by Boyden. Boyden backhands that one in. She'll throw it up and out. Thompson chasing after that one, not able to keep it in the zone. 8.20 left second period. Thompson has it on her stick. Met at the blue line, makes a nice move around one. Takes a shot. Good effort on the backside by Stefanik as she put her body on the line to stop that shot. And those are the differences in the game. When you have your defensive players sacrificing their body and putting their body in front of the shots, uh, Stefanik right there uh, showing what it takes uh, to, to be successful. Puck thrown up and all the way down by Harwood. We're going to get a stoppage of play for icing. 7.45 left, second period. 22 seconds left on the power play for Harwood. And MBU shutting down that power play so far to this point. Yeah, MBU doing a great job uh, of not allowing uh, Thompson, first and foremost, but Harwood in, in general, not allowing them uh, in the offensive zone to create those scoring chances. Short-handed opportunity down, offensive draw for MBU. Harwood chips that one up and out where it can be played by Rainville. She throws it up, battle along the boards with McClellan. 7.30 left, second period. Schreindorfer has it on her stick. Looking out front for McClellan. McClellan, black, backhanded shot. That one just went wide. And MVU getting their opportunity shorthanded as well as at even strength. That puck's going to go all the way down for an icing. So another offensive opportunity for MVU coming up here. And an impressive two minutes for MVU there. It's your first uh, penalty kill of the game. Um, <laughs> Does, does a tremendous job, again, of not allowing Harwood, whether, whether they're for full strength or down uh, a man, they limited those scoring chances for Harwood. Uh, great job on the penalty. Thompson throws that one off the draw, all the way up and down. Foot race after it here with Stefanik, taken away by Thompson. Thompson wheels, takes a shot, good save by LeClaire, as she kept that one, and she kept the rebound in tight. Guyette battling with Cadenash. Stefanik throws that one up and out. Kept in at the blue line by Harrington. Here comes Schreindorfer. Schreindorfer elects to keep it herself. Looking for McClellan. It's on her stick. Cadenash throws that one up and out. Stefanik not able to get there. Stefanik has it on her stick. Pressured by Thompson. Thompson picks her pocket. And we're going to get a penalty here as Stefanik's going to go to the box for a body check as she did not like getting that puck taken away from her and she went just a little bit aggressive back at Thompson. Yeah, and uh, it's going to cost her, her team two minutes here without her. Uh, and I just want to point out, it's, it's hard to, uh, or it's easy to forget that LeClaire was a former skater turned goalkeeper. She's doing a really good job right now uh, of, uh, of goaltending here. Well, she's going to have to cut off these angles here as Harwood is going back on the power play. Offensive draw to the right of LeClaire. Wilkinson will step in to take the draw. MBU wins it back. Gagne throws that one up, but it's kept in by Thompson. Slapper just went wide. Bigelow has it on her stick, taken away by Schreindorfer. Buck out to center with Harrington. D to D pass over to Boyden. Gagne looking to get the puck out. 
And Araldi throws that one all the way down. Six minutes left, second period. And a minute 30 left on the power play. Thompson reverses ice over to Boyden. Boyden pressured down deep by McClellan. McClellan behind the net. Now gathered in by Boyden. She skates out of her own zone, looking for some help. She's got Thompson. Thompson makes a move around one, and she'll gain the blue line. Thompson has it on her stick. Takes a shot, good defense by Rainville. Hard battle there, and McClellan throws that one up and out, and MBU able to thwart the pressure. Harrington has it on her stick, gives it to Thompson. Thompson gains the blue line. Thompson now with it, looking to start the cycle. Wilkinson gets it back down deep. Buck chipped up and out by Rainville, kept in by Harrington. Harrington, Wilkinson. Thompson takes a shot, good save by LeClaire. She saw that one all the way and got the pad on it. Araldi takes that one, throws it up and out. And Harwood not able to get anything going through neutral ice, and turns the puck back over to MVU. 4.50 left, second period. Rainville skating out of her own zone. She gains the blue line. Makes a move around Boyden. Throws that one off the outside of the cage. Harrington down deep. MBU takes the puck away there. McClellan makes a nice move, tripped up, and we're gonna get a call there. As she was tripped coming in across the blue line, trying to make a move. So MBU's gonna go on the power play now with 4.27 left, second period, and Harwood got a couple of good opportunities on that power play, but LeClaire standing tall on that, in the blue paint. Yeah, LeClaire's been, uh, Leclerc has been a fantastic uh, in net, but I wanna emphasize team defense more than anything else. MVU as a whole, as a unit, again, playing tremendous defense. When LeClaire's number's been called, she's been equal to the task, but it's also been her defense that's, that's provided some of the effort as well. MBU taking a shot there. Who else but McClellan in the slot and Hunter equal to the task. So we're gonna get another offensive draw to the left of Hunter. And as you said, they're playing defense though. They're playing defense in the offensive zone, the neutral zone, and the defensive zone, which it's hard to lose a hockey game when you play defense all over. Thompson with a short-handed opportunity here. And she's gonna get hauled down and we're gonna get a penalty coming up here an elbow coming across the backside as Thompson was taken down going hard into the net. And it's gonna be Rainville, I believe, going to the box. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Um, so Thompson is actually going to go to the box for an elbow, which I can't I can't for the life of me see how she gets the penalty going into the net. Do you, do you understand that call? No, I, I'm a little bit baffled by it uh, myself. Uh, Thompson had the puck, had possession of the puck, um, and she had the opportunity herself. She was taken down, at least from my vantage point, uh, but maybe the ref saw something that we didn't. I just don't know how you don't reward the skater going into the net with that one, um, and then you call an elbowing penalty um, on a hard-nosed play like that. But nonetheless, MBU's gonna be on a five-on-three penalty. McClellan takes a shot. Um, MBU is gonna get a good opportunity up two, uh, two skaters here with 3.53 left, first period and they're looking to take advantage of this. Another shot on Hunter, she's equal to that one. So a minute 21 left in the first penalty to Boyden and a minute 40 on the penalty to Thompson. And that's a lot of power play time for this MBU team. And you know that Harwood's going to be leaning heavily on Hunter. Uh, they relied on her heavily five on five all season. They're gonna look for the same here on the power play. Puck taken away here, it's at the point. Stefanik, D to D pass over to Rainville. Rainville takes a shot. Hunter sees that one all the way, gloves that one down to get a stoppage play with 3.30 left here in the second period. Line change coming up here for MBU, and they're looking to keep that pressure up. 
And, and if you're MVU, this is absolutely a golden opportunity to capitalize. Uh, and I feel like you got to come away with something here. Uh, just a little little bit of a, a safety net with that extra goal. Stefanik will let that one go. That one just went a little bit wide. Schreindorfer has it on her stick. She elects not to pass it. Keeps it over to Stefanik. Stefanik throws that one on net. And it pops up nicely right into the glove of Hunter. So on this, on this penalty kill, Harwood needs to keep MBU to the outside. Yeah, absolutely. Don't let them uh, cut across net. Uh, don't let them get in the middle. Um, keep them outside, like you had mentioned. Uh, McClellan takes a shot. That one went wide. Stefanik with another opportunity. And Hunter equal to that one. No rebound given up. And that's been big all night for Hunter. She's not allowing those rebounds. She's keeping everything tight and getting a, getting a stoppage so that there's no second chance opportunities. Which is an important note for her because you see that white shirts are crashing that net every opportunity they get. So Hunter doing a really good job of negating those second chance opportunities. Stefanik let it go from the point. Pan had that one, she took a shot. Hunter equal to that one. 2.50 left here, second period. 23 seconds left on the first penalty, 42 seconds left on the penalty to Thompson. Stefanik at the point. MBU starting the cycle. McClellan has it on her stick. Takes a shot right into the chest of Hunter. No rebound given up. Harwood doing a good job so far being down two players. And the recipe for the game for MVU uh, has been to put the, the puck on net and that was gonna be no different being up two men here. Rainville at the point. Rainville lets that one go off the outside of the cage. Schreindorfer gathers the rebound. Schreindorfer has it on the outside. Good stick check there by Harrington. But Rainville keeps it inside the zone, makes a move around Wilkinson. Harrington, or er, I'm sorry, Rainville let that one go, and Hunter once again equal to that one. 2.17 left second period. Nine seconds left on the, pe on the penalty to Thompson. So Harwood did the, the hard work uh, on the first one, killing off that first penalty. Now they're, they have nine seconds to go before Thompson comes out of the box. Yeah, you can't say enough how well Harwood has done defensively here on this penalty kill. Um, certainly was going to be a, a, a tall task, and, and they've, done, they've done the job so far. Stefanik has it on her stick. Looking out in front, McClellan takes a shot. That one just went wide. Nobody could find the puck, but McClellan does. She's got it on her stick. Thompson battling in, in down deep, fresh out of the box. Puck taken by Boyden, she throws that one up, but it's held in by Gagne. Harwood throws that one up and out, and will it make it all the way down for an ice? It will, with 1.41 left, second period. MBU leading two to one, faceoff's gonna come back down inside, inside Harwood territory. You can't say enough, MVU did, a, uh, did what they were supposed to do. They put the puck on net, they, they generated those scoring chances, but again, Harwood doing a tremendous job defensively, uh, and especially Hunter, uh, eliminating those second chance opportunities and standing tall when, she, when her numbers call. 139 left, second period. Harwood looking to break out of their own zone. Puck taken by Wheeler, she was looking for Thompson. Wilcox has it on her stick, it's chipped up and out by Harwood. Gathered in by Rainville, she'll chip it up. And it's thrown all the way down by Boyden. Rainville has it, pressured in deep by Thompson. Rainville has it taken away by Thompson. Thompson looking to cut to the front of the net. Good team defense by MVU, keeping her below the goal line. Rainville trying to kick that one out. Cadenash keeps it in for Harwood. One minute left, second period. Wheeler. Throws that one up, looking for Cadenash. Misses everybody, and it's gonna go down for an icing. 51 seconds left, second period. Faceoff's gonna go back down to the left of Hunter. Yeah, and I think if you're MVU, you can't get too comfortable here. Um, you have 50 seconds left. We know that 
Uh, Harwood can score in an instant just purely because of the instant offense that, that Thompson provides. You cannot get complacent here in the last 50 seconds. Continue to play good, hard-nosed defense, and, and continue to win the zone. And a good start there as they win the draw inside the offensive zone. Stefanik throws that one up. Wilkinson had it on her stick. Harrington has it. She'll throw it up. Cross ice, where it can be taken by McClellan. McClellan cut into the front of the net, takes a shot. Good save by Hunter as she snagged that one out of the air. 30 seconds left, second period. And Hunter keeping this game at a two to one. Hunter's glove is a black hole. You know, whenever <laughs> a puck goes to that side, uh, with the exception of that top shelf goal that McClellan had in the first period, <laughs> Pucks disappear. <laughs> I've, I've been club. waiting. I've been waiting almost two periods now for you to come up with an analogy for that <laughs> glove. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Black hole. Hunter is Hunter's glove is a black hole. So with 17 seconds left, MVU's gonna go. Uh, MVU's gonna get a penalty here, and Harwood's gonna go on the power play. McClellan's gonna go to the box. So Harwood's gonna get an opportunity with 13 seconds left. So this is the time for Harwood here with 13 seconds left here in this second period. It would be big for Harwood to put one into the back of the net and go into the dressing room two to two. And at 13 seconds, you win the draw here, you create an opportunity. It, it is well feasible to, to even up the score here. Stefanik gets it over to Rainville. Rainville looking to throw it up and out. Not able to do it. Seven seconds left in the second. Schreindorfer gets that one out to center ice. And that's the way this period's gonna end. Two to one, MVP. A good hard fought period there for, um, for MVU. And even better though, Harwood, they're on their heels a little bit, but they aren't giving an inch at either end of the ice either. No, Hardwood is, again, doing a great job. We saw on that penalty kill. Um, team defense, uh, just as MVU is, but it, both of these teams are playing fantastic hockey right now. It, it's just a fun game to watch. This is exciting. Um, Harwood doing a great job defensively with the exception, again, of that goal. Um, Hunter's been big for him in net and, and defensively. Whenever there has been a second chance opportunity, you've seen uh, that Hunter has had some help on the defensive end. Um, her girls are clearing that puck out and not allowing those second chance opportunities. And and unfortunately for MVU, you've got to be uh, a little disappointed that you had a five on three opportunity for well over a minute and a half and you weren't able to put one into the back of the net. It wasn't for a lack of trying, but they weren't able to get one on the on the two two person advantage. Well, that's exactly right. I, I don't think you can be disappointed with the effort that was given and obviously, um, in any five on three opportunity, you're gonna look to pepper the net as much as they did. Um, I, they probably had 12 to 13 shots on goal in just in that five on three sequence. I mean, the puck did not come to, to MBU territory at all. Um, but again, you cannot say enough about this Harwood defense. Uh, they limited those those opportunities in the middle, uh, right in front of the net. They kept MBU to the outside and again, when Hunter, when her number has been called, she has stood tall and, and has been equal to every task she's faced so far. So coming back, you're going into the uh, you're going into the dressing room up two to one. What does MVU have to do coming back out into the third period uh, to make sure that it doesn't go the other way? Well, first and foremost, I, I think if you can get that extra safety net goal, that that's going to be uh, a big thing. But I think obviously just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, when Thompson has the puck on her stick, you, you're looking to neutralize her as much as you can. I mean, she's she's not going to be held down too much longer. Uh, she, you can see the kind of the frustration boiling just a little bit uh, for Thompson. She, she's eager to make something happen for her team. Give credit to this MVU defense. They're doing a great job of neutralizing what she's capable of doing, and we know that she's capable of a lot. We'll see just what the third period has in store. MVU currently leading two to one after two periods of play. And we'll be back with the third period of action in just a moment. Stay tuned. After two periods of play, MVU leading two to one. We are just about set for action here in the third period. Before we get there, we would like to take one more opportunity to thank our sponsors, Corporate Outfitters, North, Northwestern Orthopedics, Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center, Barrett Ford, JC Image, 
and Andy Toyota. And again, if your business would like to be a sponsor for Northwest Access TV's coverage this winter, contact 802-782-8676. And, and right after the game, uh, we will announce our three top performers of the game sponsored by Corporate Outfitters. And again, that top performer will receive a t-shirt for their effort here in this game. We want to thank you again for joining us here on Pink the Rink Afternoon. I'm Morgan Stanton, joined alongside by Nate Stanton. And Nate, why don't you take us through that second period for oh. both teams? Thanks, Morgan. So we're obviously looking at a 2-1 score in favor of MVU. And to me, the story of the game, 35 shots on goal for MVU to only 10 uh, for Harwood. Um, as you had mentioned, it, it's not necessarily a recipe we've seen from MVU all season, but they're certainly doing a good job of putting the puck on net and generating scoring chances. Uh, I think it, the key uh, to this third period, if you're MVU, uh, you look at that scoreboard, you only see a one goal difference. Uh, it's important to just keep playing uh, the level of hockey that you're playing. Don't get too defensive, because uh, if you get too back on your heels, uh, then that's going to open up the door for Harwood uh, to, to jam it down. And your especially throat. Thompson. Especially Thompson. We know how dangerous she is in the, in, in the open ice, and when she gets down ice, um, continue to limit her, her touches uh, and continue to, to provi provide support for LeClaire, who's been fantastic in net for MVU. And once again, Hunter for Harwood over that 30 save mark uh, once again. Uh, and, and you just can't say enough about her in that blue paint. She just sees the puck so well. And MVU has had a lot of good opportunities. They haven't even, they haven't been cheap shots on net. They've really worked the puck around and Hunter has just been fantastic. As she has been all season, Morgan, we're gonna continue to see the same level of play from her in the third period. So as we start the third, third period here, Boyden takes a shot on net. Thompson trying to jam that one in the short side, but LeClaire covers that one up. So 12 seconds into this third period and already Harwood breathing down MVU's neck. Well, and you kind of expected that from Harwood here, uh, down a goal. Um, Certainly feeling like they're not playing up to their full potential. They'll, they'll want to break out here uh, and be intense here immediately. Now here comes Schreindorfer as she makes a move around one. Schreindorfer backhands that one on. Hunter gives that one up to Wheeler, who's going to throw it all the way down the ice for an icing. So the offensive zone faceoff is going to come back down uh, inside Harwood territory. And uh, at the end of the second period, Rainville went off the ice uh, two minutes for tripping, so Harwood's going to start this third period on the power play. Yep, and a key opportunity here for Harwood to try to get back in this game. So we've got an inadvertent horn that went off, so we're going to redo that draw down here to the right of Hunter, as uh, unfortunately for Harwood there, Thompson won the draw to herself, and she was headed down the ice. Yeah, unfortunate there. Uh, just a slip of the finger there for, uh, for the buzzer keeper. Thompson trying the exact same thing, and she does take this one up and out. Foot race there, Stefanik wins it. Stefanik behind the net, pressured by Thompson. She has that one taken away by McClellan. McClellan behind the cage, throws it up and out, but it's blocked down and kept in by Thompson. Cadenash has it on her stick, she'll reverse it to Thompson. Thompson wheeling around. Has it on her stick, backhanded opportunity to LeClaire, shot, SCORE! Right out in front was Harrington. Thompson doing the hard work on the, the reverse side of the goal, gets a backhanded shot. LeClaire made the save on the first shot, but Harrington right on the doorstep picking up that garbage goal. Yeah, you almost saw it coming. Uh, LeClaire, not to take anything away from her, she's been fantastic in net tonight, but some of those instances where she's redirected that puck and that initial save has created another opportunity for Harwood. Uh, and thus far, they haven't been able to capitalize, but on that one, they were. So a big power play goal, knots this game up at two with 14.03 left in the third period. And MVU, exactly what they didn't want to do, especially in the first minute of this third period, is give up a goal. But it's exactly what Harwood wanted to do. They wanted to come out uh, and kind of light a fire on, on this ice without melting it, obviously. Um, but you definitely wanted to, uh, to come out firing, and they have even up the score within a minute. Fanick has it there at neutral ice. Hook checked in here by McClellan. McClellan making a move. Schreindorfer takes a shot. That one was blocked down by Harrington. McClellan has it on her stick. Pressured by Cadenash. It's taken a bye by Wilkerson. Wilkerson has it in her skates. Taken away by McClellan. 
She's pushed to the ice where it can be gathered in. Here comes McClellan, backhanded opportunity. Hunter sees that one all the way. Just a weak little dribbler. And Hunter able to cover up to get a stoppage of play. 13-24 left third period. Faceoff's going to be to the right of Hunter. Yeah, McClellan made, made a good move as she's done all, all game, but wasn't able to, to put enough on that shot to really bother Hunter or, or worry Hunter in any way. Veraldi taking the draw. She wins that one back, thrown into the corner by MBU. Wheeler throws that one up, looking for Catanash. Veraldi takes it at neutral ice, looking for some help. Cross ice pass to Gagne. Gagne looking out in front, good play there as King had an opportunity going towards the net and an even better pass by Gagne getting it over to her. But Thompson reversing ice really quickly, coming across the blue line, loses an edge. Battle in down deep. Thompson has it, backhanded opportunity, good save by LeClaire. Another opportunity out in front. MVU looking to clear the zone. Wheeler holds it in at the blue line. Shot by Harrington. Wheeler, she'll take a shot. That one just rolled up her stick and goes off into the corner. Araldi has it at neutral ice. She'll throw it up and all the way down. Icing is waved off, and Harrington will gather with 12.27 left third period. Harrington through center ice, gains the blue line. Good defense by MVU, looking to get the puck out of the zone. Thompson's there. Wheeler holds it in for Harwood. Puck taken here by Rainville. Rainville will gain the blue line. Makes a move around Boyden. She's pressured in deep by Thompson. Battle along the backboards. Thompson throws that one up. Catanash not able to get it on her stick. Thompson up and out. 11.50 left third period. Rainville collects inside of her own zone. She'll wheel around and start the attack. She gains the blue line. Around Wheeler, takes a shot. Rebound given up by Hunter. Buck in the center of the ice. Shot taken from the point. That one goes wide. Schreindorfer battling down deep with Boyden. Schreindorfer has it. It's along the side of the net, right out in front. Harwood doing a good job of clearing that one. Stefanik holds it in at the point. Battle down deep with Boyden. Stefanik has it on her stick. She's got McClellan. Elects to get it to the point. Schreindorfer not able to collect the pass. And MBU has to restart. Wilkinson has it on her stick. Makes a move around one, but it's taken there by McClellan. McClellan makes a move up ice. She's got one to beat. Good defense there by Boyden as she used the stick to poke that one away. McClellan makes a move, takes a shot. Right out in front, Stefanik with a backhanded opportunity. And that puck is covered by Hunter. 10.50 left, third period, still tied at two. And what's most impressive to me, Morgan, is, is yeah, you gave up the goal uh, to get you in up the score, but MVU has not let up. Uh, they went right right back to that attacking style hockey uh, and really putting pressure on Hunter here uh, early in the third period. It's exactly what they need to keep doing, especially coming down the stretch to try to win this game. But Thompson looking to do the exact same thing for Harwood. Takes a shot, that one high, goes off the paddle of the stick. Good save by LeClaire. Harrington keeps that one in. It's taken there by Araldi. Araldi turns up ice. She'll gain the red line. She'll gain the blue line. Harrington keeper to the outside. Good save by Hunter. She traps that one down. No rebound given up. So the faceoff's going to go to the left of Hunter with 10:22 left third period. What a great blocker save there by Leclaire. That that puck was ticketed for the upper left corner uh, off the stick of, of Thompson there, but Leclaire equal to the pass. Puck at the point. Taking a shot. Good save by Hunter. Gagne let that one rip from the slot. It's up top, here's Stefanik. Stefanik look, looking to make a move. Good shot there by Gagne, but it just went wide. Puck back up to the point, Katanash. Turnover by MBU, and here comes Thompson. Thompson gains the red line, she'll gain the blue line. Thompson makes a move around one. Look to slide the puck over to Belknap, but MBU comes the other way. Here's McClellan, McClellan all alone. Belknap has it on her stick. She'll throw it up and out where it can be gathered by NVU. NVU looking to get the offense going here with 9.34 left, third period. Pressure down deep. Boyden has it on her stick. She'll throw it up and around. Looking for Bigelow. 
Bigelow has it on her stick, pressured by Schreindorfer. Rainville comes away with it. She's got it on her backhand, she slides it up. Here comes McClellan. McClellan cutting towards the center of the ice, good pass. An even better shot right there by Rainville as she came in from the blue line. Pucks right back out in front, good defense by Harwood. McClellan has it on her stick, has two out in front, LePan takes a shot. Good defense by Harwood as they get it out of the zone with 8.54 left, third period. Icing waved off and Stefanik will collect behind her own net. Schreindorfer had to go by her. Harrington has it on her stick. Pressured in deep. And now Stefanik can try to mount the offense. Harrington inside her own zone, throws it up and out. Boyden has it on her stick. McGrath keeps it at the line. Schreindorfer now turns up ice. Good defense at the blue line by McGrath as she took a swipe at that one and kept it in the zone for Harwood. Almost a dangerous turnover there, but Harrington turns up ice. Big stick check there by Araldi. Gagne has it. Thompson now with it for Harwood. Pressure by Stefanik. Araldi throws that one to the front. Thompson elects to throw it up and out. She had Belknap momentarily, but that one just a little bit ahead of her. MBU skating up ice. Katanash throws it in. Good defense at the line by MBU. Thompson battling there. Battle down deep. King is there. MBU able to come out of the scrum with the puck. It's down behind Hunter. Schreindorfer has it on her stick, looking for somebody out in front, not able to find him. Here comes Thompson. Thompson makes a move around McClellan. McClellan staying right with her. Good defense by McClellan as she poked that puck away from Thompson. Thompson was trying to go around the outside, and McClellan heads up ice. She'll gain the blue line. Makes a move around Wheeler. McClellan has it on her stick, down below the goal line. Looking out in front, shot not able to get through, and Guyette holds it at the line. Schreindorfer, first one there, she'll get the puck down deep where it's gathered by Harrington. She'll reverse ice. Battle along the sideboard, 6.41 left third period, we are still tied at two. Thompson, good poke check there by McClellan, not allowing Thompson to get through the center of the ice. Boy, if she would have poked that one through, and, and uh, if, if McClellan hadn't got her stick on it, Thompson would have been home free. Yeah, again, uh, recipe for MBU has just been pressure, pressure, pressure uh, on all three levels of the ice, in the offensive zone, neutral zone, and, of course, in the defensive end of the, uh, of the ice. So the recipe has been the same, and MBU staying true. Wheeler blocks that one down. Gagne throws that one towards the front of the net. Boyden has it. Boyden throws it up, it's kept at the point. Long shot from the blue line, doesn't get through as it went off the leg of Wilkerson. Heraldi throws that one around. King, battle in there, McGrath is the first one there for Harwood. King takes it away from her, but McGrath with a second chance effort, pokes that one out of the zone. We haven't seen McGrath on the ice at all uh, to this point and she has been logging just a couple of big minutes for this Harwood team. What I was just about to mention, Morgan, I, I mean, uh, this Harwood team obviously relies on uh, Thompson quite heavily uh, to, to mount their attacks on offense, but there's got to be somebody else that's willing to step up and make a play, and, and right now McGrath is putting in huge minutes for this Harwood team. Thompson turns up ice. She's got the blue line taking on the entire Mississauga defense. Thompson back up to the point. Boyden can't get there going to go all the way back down and Harwood has to regroup. Harrington throws that one to Boyden. Boyden up and out where it's kept in by Schreindorfer. Thompson has it on her stick. Makes a move around one. Here comes Katanash. Thompson has it at the blue line. Makes a move. She's going to let one go. And Carissa LeClaire snags that one out of the air. 447 left. Third period. We are still tied at two. And if there's one word that comes to mind, Morgan, for this MBU team so far, it has been pressure, pressure. We've been pressure. saying it all game, and and they are continuing. Uh, they have not let this uh, that goal 
get to them at all. And if anything, it's, it's put a spark in them. Battle along the end boards. Thompson trying to poke it away from McClellan. McClellan with a weak shot on Hunter. She'll gather that one, get a stoppage of play. 429 left, third period, knotted up at two. So coming down the stretch, uh, MVU, what do they have to do right here on this on this offensive draw right here? Well, first off, win, win the puck. Uh, and they did so right there. Now, uh, focus on being patient here, being methodical, finding the open player. Um, it's been things that they've been doing all game to create those opportunities. You gotta do it again here uh, in order to go ahead. Thompson taking on Rainville. Rainville keeps her to the outside where it's taken away by Schreindorfer. Schreindorfer has McClellan. McClellan makes a move. She's got one to beat. Wheeler the only one back. Makes a move around one just a little bit too far ahead of herself as she made a nice move around Wheeler. And Wheeler did a good job not allowing uh, McClellan to get her off balance. Yeah, and I almost would have preferred McClellan to put the puck on net there uh, rather than try to be a little too cute and, and make that last uh, that last highlight play there to get around the defender. I would have much rather seen a shot on goal there. Geraldi wins the draw back to the point. Puck is taken down deep by Stefanik. Stefanik crushed down deep by Boyden. Throws it out in front, and here comes McGrath. McGrath making a move at the blue line. Very easily could have been an interference call there, but instead we continue play. Around the outside, Rainville takes a shot. Good save by Hunter, and a good job by Harwood getting rid of the opportunity for a second chance. MBU skating into the zone. Harrington has it on her stick. She's pressured down deep. Good defense there by Rainville. Pucks at the point. Harrington throws it up and out. Now it can be gathered by Stefanik in the neutral zone. Puck taken away here by MBU. Good defense by Harrington as she got the puck first before taking out her player. Harrington throws it up and out. 250 left, third period. Harwood. Looking to break out of their own zone here. Boyden has it on her stick. She'll throw it up and out. Dangerous turnover here. Shot let go from the point by Guyette. As she was right there at the point, Boyden did a uh, did a little no-look pass out to the front. And you got to be careful, especially under three minutes here, not to give up. Thompson almost takes that one away as she just couldn't gather it. Battle along the outside, and Harwood's going to go to the box. Good save on the, on the shot by Schreindorfer. So Thompson's gonna go to the box, two minutes for a hook. So MVU with two minutes and 10 seconds left in this third period, this is the time right here on this power play to get uh, to get this, uh, this go ahead goal. Yeah, you essentially have uh, the rest of the game with a man advantage. This is a, 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 an absolutely key opportunity here for MVU. Smart timeout here by MVU uh, and taken by Campbell. It's, uh, she's going to try to regroup her girls here uh, and try to muster something offensively. I think the key is just to be patient, as they have been all, all game. Uh, just be patient, work that puck around, find the open player, and put something in the back of the net. And they certainly have uh, the opportunity here being on the man advantage um, and for Harwood on the other side, they have to keep MVU to the outside. Yeah, you have to keep MVU to the outside, especially, uh, you know, like we've been saying all game, they lean on Thompson heavily, and now she's gone for the next two minutes, uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, or at most, I should say. Um, so it, it, it's going to be a key for Harwood. You have to stay strong here. Uh, you know you're without your, your top goal scorer. You know you're without your, uh, you know, your senior leadership. Um, but I think it's going to be a key for Harwood just to hold strong. And I think uh, that back line, uh, and it begins with Summer Harrington. She's been solid all game. She's been uh, interrupting the passing lane. She's been getting in, in front of the shot, shooting lanes as well. Um, so uh, and again, you can't say enough uh, about Hunter. Uh, she's going to hold strong again here. So in this last two minutes and 10 seconds, Harwood is going to be killing off a two minute penalty. Thompson going to the box for a hook down and in. 
it's unfortunate too because the puck wasn't even there. Uh, she was, it was, it's an away from the puck call and uh, you don't like to see those penalties, but MBU certainly does and they win the offensive draw. Harrington has it on her stick. She's looking to clear the zone. She'll throw it around. It's gathered there by Wheeler. She'll throw it up. Not out of the zone. Kept in by MBU. McClellan down there battling with Wheeler. Battle along the sideboards. It's taken away by Araldi. Takes a shot. That one not through. McClellan shot score! A power play goal for MBU. McClellan puts it in the back of the net, and it is three to two with a minute 48 left. And ladies and gentlemen there, that is the hat trick. McClellan been doing it all game, leading this MVU team offensively. Uh, again, like I said, they were patient, they were methodical, found the open open player, and McClellan did not miss the opportunity. Do you think that she heard us talk about the t-shirt in the pregame? Because <laughs> she has bidden for that top performer here in this one with the hat trick effort. And with a minute 45 left, MVU leads three to two. Harwood gonna have to do some work here. Down one, Wheeler behind her own net. Pressured in deep by Schreidorfer. This is exactly what MVU wants to do here in the last minute and 30. Pressure the puck down deep. Puck taken away. Battle down deep with McClellan. Harrington had it on her stick. Wheeler will start it again. 115 left third period. And here comes Thompson. Thompson breaking out of her own zone. Good job by MBU in the neutral zone, taking away the puck. The pan has it. Pressured by Thompson. Thompson's gonna go to the box for a penalty. And that's unfortunate for Thompson uh, as she's gonna get called for the body check. And uh, MBU going back on the power play here with just under a minute left in this third period. Yeah, unfortunate uh, circumstance there for Harwood. Um, and the timeout here taken by Harwood, smart timeout. Uh, but you don't like to see that, you know, there's, there's a minute left, but you have to be smart. You have to keep your head on your shoulders if you're Thompson. I, I know I, she knows that she's a talented player. Everybody knows she's a talented player. Uh, but you gotta rely on your teammates as well. And she uh, just a little bit aggressive on that play there, uh, a hard-nosed hockey play, you know. And, and it's unfortunate that it comes down to that, where she, now she's in the box for uh, for the remainder of this game. But uh, MVU with another opportunity on the power play here with 57 seconds left in the third period, they're going to look to put this one away. Yeah, and it, it doesn't change the game plan. Uh, you're still going to maintain pressure on all three levels of the ice. Um, and, and certainly they're gonna look to lock the puck in the offensive zone just as they've been doing, uh, even at, at full strength for both teams. Uh, you know, we can't say enough about this MVU team. They played a, a good hard-nosed team hockey uh, tonight. And uh, on that last power play goal, um, MVU just went straight for the net. There was no passing around, they just went straight for the net. Well, and that's kind of been the recipe all, all game, whether it's been a shot on net and a follow-up or uh, a pass out in front of, of uh, the crease just to see if they can create something. MVU's been, been dogs out there, um, you know, in, in front of the net, and it, it shows them the score. The stage is set here for the last minute of play. Harwood is gonna have to do a short-handed. McClellan holding the puck along the side. Smart play here to kill off the time. McClellan has that one poked away from her. Cadenas trying to get it out of the zone, but it's kept in by MVU. Wheeler has it on her stick, looking up for Harrington. That one up and out of the zone as Gagne wasn't able to hold the pressure inside the blue line, so we're gonna get an offside. The faceoff's gonna come outside of Harwood territory. We have 39 seconds left here in the third period. MVU leading three to two. Faceoff won by MVU. Schreindorfer headed on her stick. It's thrown up and out. McClellan is there. Harrington. Now it's back to Boyden. Boyden has it on her stick. Gotta turn up ice. McClellan has it. Makes a move, takes a shot. Schreindorfer has it. Looking out in front for Araldi. Cadenas throws that one all the way down. 16 seconds left in the game. Cadenas holds the point. Thrown down deep, 10 seconds left. MBU throws it up. McClellan gets it out of the zone with the last three seconds, and this is going to do it. MBU is going to get their second win of the season on Pink the Ring Day. Good job by MBU down the stretch, not allowing Harwood to get 
get really anything going up ice. Yeah, I, I think the important thing is here, Morgan, the MVU uh, won all three levels of this game. They won on the defensive side, but they won in the neutral zone. They went, they won offensively as well, uh, translated over the scoreboard. MVU, just a tremendous, tremendous team game. Uh, not taking anything away from uh, Hunter for Harwood. She was fantastic in goal, uh, but MVU uh, ultimately comes away with this victory after a hard, hard fought uh, hockey game. And uh, you and I were talking in between the breaks uh, this MVU team that we saw tonight, they don't look like a two-win team. Well, they didn't look like a one-win team before, uh, you know, th this this uh, result. But, yes, you're exactly right, Morgan. They don't look like a, a two-win team. It just shows you they have uh, what it takes to be successful. And Hardwood is, is a very talented team. Uh, I think they're in one of the top ten uh, as far as that uh, that VPA power ranking. Yes, yes. Uh, so Harwood is a talented team. This is a huge, huge win for MVU. If, you, if you're MVU, you take this and you build upon it. You know you can play with these these other teams. Uh, they just proved it. These are kind of games that get you going towards, uh, you know, we're getting late in the season now. Get your, your mindset in a different place as you go into the playoff uh, season, if you will. And... Exactly as you said, these are the wins that get you to thinking, you know what, we can play with anybody. We can play with the top teams in this division because with efforts like that, you can beat anybody. Well, it almost seems, Morgan, like, like you had mentioned, MVU hasn't really shown this style of hockey all season, but seems like they're putting it together at the very right time, uh, which is, like you said, at the end of the season going into the playoffs. This is when you want to get your team together and start building uh, on some of the momentum that you're you're generating in these wins against these, these good teams like Harwood. All right, so do you think that we have officially locked up our three top performers of the game? Do you think we can safely say who, uh, who we think... Uh, is deserving of these honors? Yeah, absolutely. I think we have three players that were certainly uh, that certainly stood out, and the first one for me at three uh, would be Thompson for Harwood. Uh, you know, she had uh, she had that solo goal. Um, she's done a, a, a tremendous job all season. She generated that second chance or that second goal as well uh, by doing the hard work, uh, and then ultimately her, her teammate cleaned up the garbage goal. But she she is my third. Uh, you know, top performer okay. of the game. Um, and then second, I'm going to give it to LeClaire. Okay. Um, again, uh, I said this before and I'll say it again. LeClaire, it, it's hard uh, or it's easy to forget that she used to be a skater and she was uh, you know, transferred into being a, a goaltender. And she stood tall and when her number was called in the most important times, she was there. I, I, I think not used to be a skater. She is a skater who is now a goaltender. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> and uh, how about our top performer of the game who gets the T-shirt sponsored by Corporate Outfitters? Well, was there any doubt that it was going to be anybody else but McClellan? Obviously, McClellan had three goals on the night. She was the catalyst for this offensive offensive unit for, for MVU. I think as a team, like we said, MVU had a great performance tonight, but it was, it was catalyzed by uh, Miss McClellan there. So... After this one, the first game of our doubleheader, and uh, stay tuned as we have uh, the boys MVU team taking on St. Johnsbury uh, coming up next. And uh, going uh, after, as, as we look back on this one, as you mentioned, Holly, Holly McClellan getting the top performer of the game with three goals, um, really just, just outlasting the Harwood team. And whenever she had it on her stick, she made every effort to get her teammates involved, but she also made every effort to get to the net. Absolutely, and, and when McClellan had the puck on her stick, she made the right decisions. She was methodical. Uh, she was meticulous, and every single movement was a purpose. Uh, she did a, a great job of generating scoring opportunities, obviously for herself with three goals, uh, but she also generated opportunities for her teammates. Uh, you know, getting that ball, getting that puck in the right position uh, to ultimately put something on the scoreboard. So coming up next, as I said, uh, we have St. Johnsbury entering uh, the Highgate Sports Arena. They will be taking on Missisquoi, uh, the Missisquoi boys. And uh, after today, Harwood, uh, after losing this game, they are scheduled to play Burr and Burton on Wednesday, uh, which will be a big game for them, um, you know, to get back uh, a little bit of their momentum that they lost here tonight. And Missisquoi is scheduled to play Rice, who is, uh, you know, 
they're they're sitting going into today. Rice only had two wins as well. So Missisquoi can jump up in the standings here uh, a few spots by stringing a couple of games together. Yeah, I think if you're MVU, you really got to just ride this wave. Enjoy this win, uh, but it's certainly take take things uh, from this game and build upon them. Obviously, the shots on goal was one of those keys going into this game. Uh, they, they capitalized on those opportunities, and they certainly uh, made an effort uh, to put the puck on net more often than they did last game. So we want to take one more opportunity just to remind you that Northwest Access TV is a nonprofit organization, and if you're enjoying the sports coverage throughout the year, please consider making a donation. Uh, all you have to do is visit northwestaccess.tv slash donation. So that's going to do it for the first game of our doubleheader. We will be right back in a few moments for the start of St. Johnsbury and MVU Thunderbirds. Thanks for joining us for this one. We'll see you in a moment. 